Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Air Kitty. I can't stop playing. <laughs> it is uh it is currently two in the morning. And uh I am too invested in this to stop. I'm not gonna stop, can't stop, won't stop. So uh, I'm just gonna continue on with the next part. So we just upgraded Denzel to level two. I actually went back into the haunted forest to try to break those rocks. And uh, it didn't work. So I guess it's not that. So now we're back here. Uh, any secrets whatsoever? Maybe? Oh crap, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Go back. I am, uh, I'm very surprised though because, oh, hello. The models are very impressive, I will say that. The 3D models and everything. Like, I kind of like the cartoony style of these. Like the... Like the 3D renderings of this. Like, I actually kind of wish... Like, I kind of wish actually, like, the Harvest Moon series would look more like this. Like the 3D games and stuff like that. Which... I guess, in some ways, not the 3D, or not the Harvest Moon games, even though I still would like those as well. The, uh, Story of Seasons games. Because this does look a lot like that style of, like, it's still very cartoony, but it's very realistic also. Also, um, if the demons were taken care of, and the, uh, and the Empire felt the need to build a statue on the other side of this bridge, why didn't they just destroy the boulder? Like, 50 years later? I was just here, wasn't I? I was. She knows. Hey, fellas. How you doing? Hi there. It's not often you see somebody on this side of the bridge. Used to call this Mayan Bridge, but a hundred years ago, a boulder fell and blocked it. No one's ever been able to remove it. Then again, since the war ended, people don't really come out to Demoni anymore. Anyway, I doubt any human will ever break that boulder. You're right, no human will. A demon will. For sure our boss is tough enough to smash that boulder. I tell you though, he's stubborn as a freaking goat. <laughs> he barely ever leaves that haunted forest. You'd have to force him to move his hiney over here, but nobody dare. I mean, he's just scare he just scares everybody off. But deep down he's a really nice guy. Well, I feel bad that you know. Kinda. Got rid of all the other friends. Oh, you guys weren't even looking. Well, it's gone now, so you're welcome, I guess. I feel like I missed the opportunity to make a donkey joke of, like, with the boulder and been like, that's a nice boulder. Totally missed that opportunity. What is wrong with me? Slime, get over here. I need to take out my rage because I missed my opportunity to make a meme. Never gonna be cool. I know. I blew it. It blew it all. Uh, anything else? No? Okay. Off to the other side, I guess. Oh, okay. Uh, Ben! Look! Look at that! 
I I'm looking for that. That is devastation right there. What happened here? Where's my village? My parents? You had a mom? I didn't see your mom. My friends? Everything's gone. I had my suspicions, but now I'm sure of it. This isn't our time period. You have to find out what happened. Let's try Genova. Somebody there should be able to help tell us. Well, bright side is, is that technically your parents probably died before this happened. So they lived a long, happy life. And they didn't suffer. Or because technically now you're in the future, you weren't even born, so you didn't even really experience the... Yeah, anyways. You are now entering the great trade capital, Genova. Be sure not to make any trouble, and we'll ensure your safety. Oh, <laughs> is that how it works? Traders and dis disciples. Traders and disciples. All day long, all I see are traders and disciples. It's crazy. Has everyone really become a traitor or a disciple? I, I guess so. It's to try and push some kind of agenda, I'm sure. You just got to Genova, right? It's obvious from your tan you've spent too much time outdoors. In Genova, my delicate skin is protected from the sun's harmful rays by the vapors of the, sp the smug. Ah. These people are very dapper, I'm not gonna lie. Are you in the market for a smug fueled furnace? Step right up. Ours are the very best out there. Guaranteed to have minimal smug emissions. And at an unbeatable price, too. Buy a smug furnace and you'll save on wood. It's very good for the forest. Did you know that? If you purchase one right now, you'll pay 0.1% less tax. So what do you say? If I say yes, what happens? What, what do I have to do to get this? Sure. Wonderful! But... You have no home. I'll have to buy one before having a smug furnace installed. <laughs> Find another trader for that, I don't do... I don't do scam, uh, real estate. Okay. This guy's just kind of running around in circles, uh... Wait, this is where the farmer was. <laughs> oh no, all the chickens. I'm gonna catch this guy when he comes by. Let me through. I'm training. I'll need to build up strength if I want to climb Mount Alpha. That's the only way to become a disciple. Okay. How you doing, man? Have you noticed those pipes outside Genova? They pump the smug, the smug that provides us with energy. What is smug composed of? I don't know. Why? You think it could be dangerous? Uh, yes. Yes, I think it'll be very dangerous. You there. It's your lucky day. You just won this gem of a home. Claiming it is so simple, a child could do it. A child with 10,000 G, that is. My mod is purchase fee. So what do you say? <laughs> yes! You seem to be short. Don't don't comment on my size, man, okay? Very sensitive about the topic. Not really. I don't really care. But come back when you have enough. Can I preview the home? The store is closed. I can see that. Oh, there's the inn. Disciples, I guess? This is... Oh, the rich people's house. It's a great honor for a disciple to be able to spy, I mean, to guard Mr. Fogwell's home. 
Oh, you don't, mo you don't know Mr. Fogwell? He's only one of the richest merchants on the whole continent. Mr. Fogwell is a real nice trader. Maybe too nice, in fact. Whenever he says hello, I immediately want to buy something from him. Either way, he's a very powerful trader. Oh, excuse me, do you have a problem? No. No. What are you? Sales pitch proof? If everybody's like you, my business will go down the drain. Great, there should be more people like me then. Hi. Do you really think the Great Destroyer caused the Great Disaster? What about this business with the five keys he needs to collect before destroying the world? What? What? They explain themselves here. Oh, my sweet. One day, I'll take you far away from the smug fumes, all the way to Sylph Forest, where time stands still. Our love will be eternal there. Oh, that's so romantic. Why, I'd rather go hiking on the frozen continent with only our love to warm our frostbitten bodies. I am your faithful knight. Your wish is my command. Oh, my love. Oh my god, please no. <laughs> Not in front of the children, please. Oh, my darling. <sighs> yeah, there's the kicker. How about I invite my mother to come along? <sighs> How about we forget the whole thing? Kinda. What happens? Like, it seemed like a good idea, didn't it? You don't invite the mother along. Hello, Prophet Patrol. Anything to report? Just because the world will soon be annihilated by the Great Destroyer doesn't mean you should deny his existence. Only those who have helped the Prophet will be saved. What? Now I'm gonna screw your whole thing up. Any individual who insults the Great Destroyer is to be considered a blasphemer. Or anyone insulting the Prophet who was sent here as our savior. Of course, simply doubting the Great Destroyer's existence is blasphemous in itself. If you come across a blasphemer, please alert us immediately. Great Destroyer will reward you with his truth. If I turn myself in, do I get the reward? Hi. Uh, what you doing? When I was little, I'd always go hide in the sewers with my friends. It was full of rats and other disgusting stuff, but man, did we have a good time. <laughs> But ever since the Great Disaster, I just don't enjoy life anymore. Well, yeah, your every whim is being dictated. Oh, I can actually go into this house. The door's just open for me. Oh, hi. Hello, nice little family. Hello, little girl. Mommy worries a lot. Are all adults, adults like that? Afraid so, honey. <laughs> Our family has been poor for generations. But at least before we could see the sun. Now everything uses smug. The smoke blocks... The smoke blocks out the sun and everyone's getting sick. The traders are the only ones getting richer. What do we get out of it, huh? I worry about my daughter's future. I would also worry about your daughter's future. Adventures of the Snow Queen. By Walt Disney. Frozen before Frozen. Good thing there is no sound. 
I didn't realize this was made around the time of Frozen. Oh, that was I was so happy to find that Easter egg. Oh, that made me, that just made my night, my morning, I guess. Uh, any other interesting Easter eggs I want to find? I guess not. All right. Um, I think I've talked to pretty much everybody down here. So uh, I'm just gonna start invading houses. Hi. Are you praying? Sorry to interrupt. Can't seem to find my key to the library. But I'm certain I left it here. I simply must find it to continue my study of the scientific explanation for the predominance of traitors in an ethno religious system within a post-disaster society. Where has Mimi gone? Still hanging around with her friends, I suppose. Well, as long as she stays out of trouble and lets me work. Now, where is that plastic key? Huh. Okay, um... What, what are you reading, good sir? I guess I'm... not smart enough to understand what you're reading. So I'm guessing Mimi is his daughter, and I think Mimi might have taken the key. Uh, the store is closed. Thanks for the, uh, tip. Alright, so that's an empty house. Uh, let's go to McDonald's. Let's see how McDonald's- oh, wow. This is McDonald's? This is a nice McDonald's. Haha, <laughs> no doubt about it. It's nice to eat something other than camp food. Luckily, I've moved up in the ranks, otherwise I'd still be digging with the other idiots. Gotta say, once you're selected to join the elite, you've got it easy. I drink to all those morons who believe in the Great Destroyer. Without their donations, you can never afford this kind of joint. Great. His face is all red, and he's barely speaking. I hope he didn't eat anything too spicy. It makes him seem so delicate. It's adorable. Dude, make a move. It has been months since I started saving up to ask Flora out to this restaurant. I so want to tell her how I feel, but I just can't. I love how literally I'm standing right next to this dude, and he's like, literally, I'm a stranger. He's like, I love this chick. I really want to let her know that, but I don't know if I should. And then there's like just Ben, who's like right wing man in here, and he's like, do it, do it. In the words of Shia LaBeouf, just do it. <laughs> ah, nice uh, screen painting. With a stand in a. Uh, Purple monster from McDonald's? I'm blanking on his name. I I know his name, but I can't like remember it right at this moment. Oh hey, that's the first one. Oh, um, what was it called? Um Brains don't work at 3 a.m. I've I've realized. Uh or 2 a.m. Somewhere between there, they just don't work. Mine's not working at all. That's the that's the city from the first game. Man, the food here is amazing. Me and the wife come here all the time. I like how everything's natural. Did you know all the food is guaranteed smug-free? That means it's healthy. And what's more important in life than being healthy? Having a mind of your own? Making your own choices? Um, being independent of oneself. And, um... Welcome to McDonald's. We've been serving healthy gourmet food for over a hot... My great-grandfather founded this restaurant, which... 
Bass became the best place to dine in all of Genova. It was the only place in di to dine in Genova. He's a real legend in our family. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I want to talk to you real quick. She looks a lot like, um... I think her name is Elizabeth. I haven't played this game yet, though I really, really want to. Um, the Bioshock series. But, like, she looks a lot like that. I think that's what they're kind of going for. Sure, the Great Dis Disaster flattened a whole part of the continent, but that's also where we get smug from. As they say, all's well that ends well, right? Well, uh, ex except for all the victims of the Great Disaster, of course. But then apparently they didn't suffer at all. Boom. Gone in an instant. I mean, I don't know much about it. Uh, I wasn't born yet. My god. Can I... Okay, we're gonna go see Mr. Fogwell. <laughs> and the uh, piranha plant from uh, Mario makes a return. For goodness sake, Marion. I've told you a thousand times not to wrinkle the linens. You poor girl, you have absolutely no sense of perfection. The Great Destroyer demands perfection. And I serve the Prophet, who represents the Great Destroyer. Really? I remember the... I think I remember the McDonald's guy is named Gromit. Is it Gromit? The missus is so demanding. I'm more frightened of her than of the Great Destroyer. I'm not even sure he actually exists. The missus, on the other hand, couldn't be more could be more sure. I've gone and blas blasphemy blas what? Without meaning to. Please don't turn me into the disciples, I beg you. I I I won't. Oh my god, this poor girl, she's shaking like a leaf, like, my god. What have you done to her? A hundred ways to use extra money by Bill Gates. What an interesting... Problem. I didn't mean to do that. Crazy, a crazy landscape. That reminds you of something. Huh. How to become a successful merchant. By C. Ponzi. Great. So Mr. Fogwell is... Really... Mud bottom. Well, hello there, citizen. What can I do for you? For you. Oh, I'm but a humble trader from a long line of traders. My grandfather was already a professional merchant at the time of the Empire. He was a real hero helping those who needed passage in or out of Genova during the war. He did many favors. He also earned money. His, he also earned money his keep by working hard. Thus was born the Fogwell Dynasty. Quite a beautiful story, ain't it? I don't know how he somehow managed to get that dynasty because I stole all of his money. I took it all. I took it all back. The Great Disaster. The Great Disaster happened 60 years ago on the 50th anniversary of the Empire's victory over the demons. No one knows exactly what happened, except that a huge explosion wiped out the southern part of the continent. Genova was not entirely spared, and the turmoil that followed ultimately led to the Empire's demise. Thankfully, the traitors were there to restore order. Can I... At least he's nice.
You know what? Okay, fine. You don't deserve the Mud Bottom name. You, I'll call you by your real name, Mr. Mudwell. After the great disaster, my father and his merchant friends came to the Empire's rescue. They formed a council that would take actions necessary to Nova's survival. Someone needed to act quickly, what with all the chaos. The militia was created to replace the army. The former imperial tax system was abolished to make way for a fairer system. They gave people their freedom back. Since then, everyone is free to do trade and become wealthier. Oh, naturally, traders' sons all become traders themselves, but at least everyone has a chance. Only sons. Only sons. No daughters. Just sons. No people in between genders either, or neither gender. You have to be male. Hopefully they at least allow you to do a sex change if you want to. The explosion of the Great Disaster left behind a gaping hole filled with this strange substance. As no one rightfully knew what this stuff was, people called it smug. Our scientists quickly found that the smug could be used as an energy source. The traders declared a monopoly on the buying and selling of smug and built the smug line to transport it to Genova. Since then, everything here has been fueled with smug, and every time people use some, more money lines the council's pockets. This is technology grand. So that kind of sounds like something that is happening here in real life, and the way that you know we're producing so much carbon dioxide and everything that we're trying to find ways in which we can reuse carbon dioxide. Because of the fact that we have so much of it, it is affecting our ecosystem, it's affecting global warming, and you could say it is a renewable resource in a sense because of the fact that, you know, when you breathe out, you breathe out carbon dioxide. Granted, I'm sure it's a little bit different uh, than, you know, from like cow farts. But that is a scary thing because it's like, yes. It's kind of the same thing with, like, cars. Cars actually, like, an electric car, people think, like, oh yeah, no, we just came out with that. No, actually, that was... Electric cars actually were a thing back in the early 1900s. But the electric car was going to push out the gas cars. And that meant gas companies were going to lose a lot of money because of the fact that the electric car, obviously didn't need fuel as much, it used a renewable resource. And so basically what the gas companies did is they actually bought the patents for the electric cars. So that nobody could get electric cars, nobody could buy electric cars, and uh, they could continue to line their pockets. Trust me, I'm thinking the same thing as you right now. I don't want to live on this planet either anymore. I want to just find a planet full of nice people who are not greedy and money hungry. That's all I want. I just want a nice little society. Help us out? If you ever need a favor, feel free to come and see me. I'd be thrilled to do what I can, and by any means at my disposal, in exchange for a service of, like, value, of course. I don't do pro bono. As if that were even a thing. Guess nothing at all. Well, we found out what happened. The great disaster. My village swallowed up by the smug. And look what's become of Genova Ben. Is that really our future? Uh, no. He did not mention demons. They must be hiding somewhere. I cannot believe they all vanished into thin air. That's not the number one problem here. My village, my parents, everyone's gone. Ben, we have to stop this great disaster from happening. I understand your anguish, Miss Fionn. But if it is indeed possible to change the course of events, we should start by saving my people. That can't be changed, Denzel. The demons 
The demon's defeat is a part of history. I learned about it in school. It's in the past. But what's happened here, that hasn't happened yet. Perhaps in your past, Miss Fia. But to me, your present is my future. What might happen to the Empire is none of my concern. I want my people to live, to not be wiped out by our enemy. But if the Empire doesn't defeat the demons, that could change everything. I mean, maybe I wouldn't even exist. It's just too risky. And what of the people who live here and now? Maybe they too will disappear if you alter the past. Does that not bother you at all? But who knows exactly what can or cannot be changed? It may well be that all of this already exists. Perhaps we have already come here, we have done all this, so no matter what we do, nothing can be changed. You know what, Denzel? I don't really know. But I'm at least going to try. It's all we can do. How about you, Ben? Do you think we can change time? Uh, yeah, I think we can. Should we? Probably not a good idea. But, um... Eh, it's a video game. It'll be fine. You see, Denzel? Ben is an optimist. Just like me. And if we can, what do you think we should change? I think we should change both things. Don't give me- it's kind of like one of those things, like, now I'm thinking about it, like, if I was ever given the choice of changing a set of events. It's like, obviously, time is not something that we know a lot about right now, that we're still learning about. That we're still learning how to even, in a way, manipulate, if we even can. And it's funny because I'm like, I would actually probably be one of those people that, like, if someone told me you can change a set of events, it will help a lot of people out, but you will cease to exist after the event is done. I think I'd probably do it. Like, in this case, because it's like, you know, both these events are really significant. And it's like, while I understand Fionn's concern, and her not existing, or at least not her existing in the sense that she knows herself to exist, we'll say. So like, she may actually still exist 50 years later after Denzel, but she may not be the same person necessarily. I mean, it seems selfish on both their parts to be like, you know, like my people deserve to live. It's like, both of your people deserve to live. But that's not the point here. The point is, is we need to change these set of events to be better for everybody in the future, even if we're not there to experience it. So yes, both. Thank you, Super Mario. I knew that I could count on you. Are you sure, Ben? Pretty risky. Could throw off the world's balance. But we would still need to be able to turn back time. I do not know what is possible, or even reasonable, to hope for. Before anything else, we must find a Magala. On that much, I completely agree, Denzel. Let's go to the library and dig up some info. I have a good feeling we'll find out where there's a Magala. You heard that, Ben? Let's get going. Okay. I'm still gonna explore a little bit more. Because we still haven't gone to- actually, you know what, I haven't- Uh, did I- I think I already went to that house. I don't need to go in there again. Oh! There's a door right here. I didn't even know it. How you doing? Haha. <laughs> oh, how easy it is to cook with a smug burning stove. I can't do without it anymore. What? You've- Heard smug fumes are toxic. Everyone has to die of something. Plus, considering how much it costs me, I have to make good use of it now. Ah. Um. I get it, but if it's gonna cause your untimely demise, I, uh, probably suggest not using it. Yellow. 
The disciples train at the Prophet's Pyramid west of here. It's got a big eye engraved on it. Can't miss it. Ah, okay. What's this place? Oh, is this like a clinic? Back in the Imperial days, this place was an orphanage for children whose parents died in the war. Oh no, the kids from Mother! Nowadays, it's a home for people bankrupt by the traitors and who have nothing left. I would have preferred taking care of the children. <laughs> Adults only get what they deserve. It's their own fault if they're in debt, right? Makes you wonder why they do it. Didn't anybody tell them what might happen? Oh my god. Why? Why, oh why did I accept that contract? Every day I ask myself the same question over and over. My wife's never got never forgiven me. To think that I was taught to just say no to traitors who want to sell me things I don't need. These poor people. Like, what the heck? Leave me. I just want to die alone. I really tried, you know? After working so hard, I'd almost managed to become a traitor. And now I've lost everything my fault. All my fault. Dude, just because you're not a good trader doesn't mean you can't be a good at something else. Okay? Be a pirate. It's even cooler than being a trader. Happiness in Three Lessons by Miyazaki Goto? Lesson 1. See Lesson 3. Lesson 2. See Lesson 1. Lesson 3, see Lesson 2. What? I am, uh, I am less happy than I am when I read that book. Yeah. Hi. Hello there, we have lots of high quality equipment for sale, all forged with the power of the smug. Take your pick! I mean, I don't think I have anything else equipped, so why not? Buy a smug belt? Why not? Got a smug belt. You don't want to tighten this one too much. How about them boots? No more smelly feet. Now they just smell like smug. Great. Thank you, come back soon. Five coins. The legendary wik wikis? Wikings did exist by Ark Elogis? What? Oh, I didn't realize I could come back here. There's a chest right here. Yay, I got more red goop. Is there any more, uh, money I can borrow? I don't- I don't want this. Here's the inn. Hello. My daughter likes to play with her friends out in the courtyard at the inn. Can't imagine what they do out there all day. Uh, but perhaps you would like to rest for a while? I'm good, thanks. Just gonna talk to your patrons. Uh, look for some money. It's getting harder to find non-smug and rich fruits and veggies. Sure, they look pretty, they've got brighter colors, but they're completely tasteless. How am I supposed to use that stuff to cook up some proper plates of food? She's got a point. I didn't even see that. Oh well, I know I got money. I heard the cha-ching-ching. -ching. Hey look, it's another guy from the first game. I 
hiding any money in the pots here. Got any interesting books? You improved your reading skill. Yay, I'm no longer illiterate. Hello. Food here is okay. But it's small beans compared to McDonald's, best restaurant on the whole continent. Again, the only restaurant pretty much in the whole continent. Also, they've now acquired an upstairs. This is impressive. Wah! All these books everywhere. I do hope the Prophet will enact a law banning them. Why? What do people have against books? Hi, how you doing? I'll make millions off this contract. Assuming they don't read the fine print. Hello. H how you doing, ma'am? Being a trader's wife isn't exactly a cakewalk. True enough, we want for nothing, but my husband is away very often and compensates by bringing our girls presents. I think they'd be better off if he were around more. I can't discipline them, I think they're just too cute to punish them. Uh. Remember guys, you're a parent first, friend second. If you do not want your children talking to people like this, discipline them. Step aside, old man. Can't you see I'm walking here? <laughs> Can't you see I'm walking here? You're not walking, you're running, you little brat. Mommy, that man looks poor. Don't touch me, mister. You're gonna give me diseases. I just can't sleep with all the noise from those girls next door. Why doesn't their mother tell them to ease up a bit? There are just some people in this world that just shouldn't, uh, reproduce. Or at least need a little bit more practicing at that parenting skill. Yeah. Well, I'm in the courtyard, but there's nobody here. Okay, we already went down here, so let's go up this way. There's the library. Look, Ben, the Imperial Library. I'm not sure what it's like now, but in my day it was known for its many documents. I bet if we go there we'll find out plenty about this time period. They're also likely to have something on the location of the Magaliths. We'll have to find another one to get back home, seeing as the one that got us here was destroyed. But Magaliths are quite rare, and even if we were to find one, how would we activate it? Not to mention, it could end up taking us to an entirely new era. Denzel, stop being so defeatist. What else can we do besides try? Nothing we can do will change anything. My people, my son, all of them dead. Ugh! Ben, I think Denzel is going to need some time to adjust. Let's try finding information as fast as we can. I mean, I have to give the guy a break. He is grieving over his dead son, so... I can understand his hopelessness a little bit. Library access is restricted to researchers. 
They're the only ones with keys. Yeah, I know. Who'd want to read books anyway? Utterly pointless. Great. Uh, what? By lying stretched out on the ground, I can commune with the Great Destroyer. This, the Great Destroyer is omnipotent. He will destroy the world in order to rebuild it. Think you can hear me? God, I hope not. Hey, did you know your uh, partner over there is a... Uh, drunk? When I gaze at this fountain, I think of the future. The prophet has revealed it to us. He alone holds the truth. Water will wash over the world, and all will be flooded. The Great Destroyer is already at work. But the prophet will save us. Is this a Noah's Ark situation? Dude, that's called the Bible. That already happened. And in that religion, their great god told them that it would never happen again. When I was young, I often came and played in the streets of Genova. But after the great disaster, the city became a terrible place with the traitors and the prophets seizing power. And the smug, the smug looks on their faces. It makes me cough. And many residents have fallen sick as well. Ever since, I've cut down on trips to Genova as much as possible. I would too. Hi. My plan is to work in the militia for a few years. After that, I'll save up and become a wealthy trader. It could happen. It's in our constitution, even. Well, very few have done it so far. Except for the sons of traitors, of course, but that's only natural, right? Anyway, I'll be one of the first to make it big. I just need to pull myself up from my bootstraps. I joined the militia to defend Genova, not to apprehend blasphemers. Plus, with every passing day, the definition of blasphemy gets broader. At this rate, I can't say how far we'll go. Maybe we'll end up throwing everybody in the smug. Is that what you do for punishment? You throw them into the pit? Do you believe in the Great Destroyer? If you believe what the Prophet's disciples say, he's gonna destroy the world. But if you ask for a precise date, they all get pretty vague. Maybe it won't happen for a few centuries. The militia is being increasingly replaced with patrols of the Prophet's disciples. Oh, but I'm not a blasphemer. Just, maybe it'd be better to keep things separate. Yeah, maybe. Maybe just a little bit. Also, are these the barracks? I think these are. I'd rather eat here than in the tavern. This way, I save up money to buy myself a meal at McDonald's every once in a while. Makes me drool just thinking about it. I mean, I understand that lifestyle, man. I, I too, you know, try to cut down on, you know, going out to eat so that, you know, I have more money to go out to eat. <laughs> if that makes any sense. <laughs> If the Prophet has his rules, so does the Militia. First rule of the Militia, you do not talk about the Militia. <laughs> Second rule of the Militia, you do not talk about the Militia. Don't even ask about... Rule 34? Dude, I already know what Rule 34 is. We don't need to explain it. And I'm certainly not going to explain it to you. And don't look it up. After a long day, members of the militia come and rest here in the old Imperial Guard Room. It's funny to think that a hundred years ago, during the war, soldiers actually lived here. They must have had very skilled lieutenants to have won the war. 
<laughs> no, don't take in the barrel. I I was trying to look at the book actually. I uh, guess I got some money. I got more money. No more interesting reads, though. That sucks. I didn't search this area, like these barrels and everything, so maybe? Maybe? Maybe not? Maybe not. No. No, there's nothing. Ah. Oh, hi, children! Saku. Let's double check everything first. Mimi, did you get the key? Yep, Saku. I got it. Brilliant. How about you, R Ribbon? Do you have the map? Yeah, boss. I've got the map. Awesome! I hereby declare Operation No Toys But Plenty of Books has begun. Saku, I think we should come up with a better name for our operation. I think so too. How about we call it Operation Super Mimi? Ugh, no! Mimi, it's not just your operation, it's all of ours. And so might I suggest Operation Saku and her friends. No way! Why should there be your name in our operation? Uh, maybe because it was my idea in the first place? Well, I'm the one who stole my dad's key. If I get caught, I won't get dessert for at least three days. Which means I'm the one taking the biggest risk here. Stop arguing, you two. I just want to read the books that are hidden in the library. It's so boring without any toys. So, so why not call our operation Operation Books for Ribbon? No! Oh, they made her cry. <laughs> you guys are so mean to me. I'm gonna cry. She also apparently doesn't exist because I can see through her all the way to my ankles. Ribbon? Come on now, don't throw a fit. Hey, how about we go back to our HQ to choose the name? Good idea, Mimi. Alright, everyone return to HQ. Hey! Wait for me, you guys! Oh, they run fast. So I think they're gonna go back to the courtyard in which we have to go back there and try and probably get the key. You don't look like you're from around here. Bit of advice. Try not to blast... Blast from your disciples or certain members of the militia. Makes no difference to me, but some are a bit overzealous. How do you Blasphem? Blasphem? Blasphemy? Wow. Oh, there's loads of different ways, and they just seem to get more uncompromising un every day. Tell you what. Better yet, don't say anything. Anyway, you don't really look like the chatty type. Mm, ben isn't. I am. And I'm also very opinionated. <laughs> Which, yes, has gotten me in trouble probably more than once. The old Imperial Jail was abandoned since there wasn't any need for it. Oh, there's still plenty of criminals out there. Mainly, blasphemers. But they were too expensive to feed and house. Don't get me wrong, we're not savages. We're not gonna execute them or anything. It'd be way too expensive, anyway. No, instead we send them into the smug. Nobody's ever come back, but at least we're giving them a shot. These people say that they have a constitution. Where's their Eighth Amendment? 
the one that says that they have the right to not have to not be dished cruel and unusual punishment. Oh, uh, great. Well, let's go find the kids. Hey, kiddos! Wow, you look really mean. Watch out, girls. There's a creepy guy staring at us. That? No, it's nothing. It's empty. Huh? Who are you? What are you doing in our HQ? Operation Super Mario? <laughs> yeah, not bad. But I think we can come up with something better. I want to help you. Oh, really? Hear that, Mimi? He wants to help us. But help us with what exactly? Good point. Help us with what? I was just about to ask that. So, you want to help us do what exactly? Steal books, get toys, I need the key. Get toys? Toys? What for? We don't need no stinking toys. We're not little girls who play with dollies. We do much more interesting stuff than that, right girls? Yeah, Saku. For sure. So you see, keep your toys, besides they're illegal here. Ugh. It's one of these things. Steel books. Steel books? Seriously? Are you nuts? You're working for the Prophet's Secret Service or something? Do you really think we'll admit to something like that? Forget about it. You're too green to try and nab us. She's got spunk. I'll give her that. I just need the key, okay? Say, you know what? I do like people who are just who are direct. Who know what they want? So, say you find this key of yours. Like, maybe in a safe or a chest or something. And maybe use it to get into the library. And the library, say you find, oh, I don't know, a book? In this purely hypothetical scenario, would you bring it to us? Sure. You promise? Yeah. Cross your heart and hope to die? Yeah. Like, do you promise on your life? Yes. But I think we'll get along just fine. Keep your promise, and we'll have nothing to worry about. Perfect. It opens the gateway to knowledge and maybe new problems too. <laughs> oh, I mean, trouble seems to only follow me with this game. And heartache. And anguish. Oh, great. Hi. The Dean. Welcome to the Genova Library. I suppose you're the new students. Yes. I am the Dean of the Genova Library. We researchers devote our lives to extremely important matters. For example, finding out why it itches when one is bitten by a mosquito. Oh, we're not concerned with finding a cure or some such nonsense. Knowing why it itches is clearly more, inter more interesting. By the by, I will discuss my own research when time permits. I'm an expert in the study of the ancient Magi civilization, specifically the legends surrounding their use of strange powers in late antiquity. Before I can tell you all about that, you'll need to complete your studies. It's just that. Look, Professor, we're in quite a hurry and- Quiet! <gasps> oh my god. You are students, and in the library, you must submit to your professor's authority. 
Unless you do not wish to learn anything. In which case, get out. Please forgive student Denzel, Mr. Dean, sir. We'd be delighted to follow your lessons. In particular, the ones about the Magaliths. Right, Denzel? Yes. Well then, if you're determined, let us begin. You must receive credit for six core disci disciplines, courses in various fields. To do so, you need only speak to my research researcher colleagues in the library. Each one of them will submit a problem allowing you to get credit for a particular subject. You can choose your own curriculum. You are no obligation to do all of them. But I may have a little reward if you complete all eight. Did you get all that? Uh-huh. Splendid. Have fun studying, then. Come back when you are all done. But no sooner than that, I simply hate being disturbed. <laughs> he reminds me of my old professor. Boys love studying. It's fun. You okay, sweetheart? Denzel? You okay? He seems to know much about the magi. He will certainly have much to tell us about the Magalus. I don't know how you got that from a hit in the face, but, uh... Sure. Okay, well, um... I think this part has gone on quite a bit. <laughs> like I've said before, I am trying to keep them shorter, but, uh... My own enthusiasm does not always allow for that. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna leave this part off here, and we will pick this up in another episode. In the meantime, I'm gonna go to bed. Because I'm tired. Yeah. So, uh, hope you guys are enjoying this, and I'll see you in the next part. Bye bye!